Hi, my name is Jay Bandersorg. I'm the program director with the Cloud Technologies program here at Full Sail University, and I'm here with Stephen Barris from HBO. Well, Stephen, I, I know you work with, with HBO, um, do a lot with digital asset management. Can, can you tell us a little bit about how cloud has really changed you know, kind of transform what you guys are doing yeah. within media production and, and with HBO. Yeah, I mean, certainly it's obvious on the consumer-facing side. Our, you know, platform HBO Go, HBO Now is obviously powered entirely by cloud computing. I think, though, that it's somewhat less known that we use a ton of distributed computing and cloud computing for our production process as well. Our daily system is run completely out of the cloud, and we need it to be that way, because if you're reviewing uh, the material that we shot on a, a television show, uh, in London, but it's being shot in Northern Ireland, and we're back in the studio in Santa Monica, and maybe someone else in New York is looking at it, any kind of localized system simply doesn't work over that kind of geographic expanse. But if we look at you know, distributing that, doing a, a cloud solution around that, it's actually relatively trivial for those different people in different cities to all be interacting with that content at the same time. And the next step there is collaborating on that content. On a show uh, like Game of Thrones, for instance, our, our heaviest shooting day, we have about 13 hours of dailies uh, coming in every single day. That all needs to be processed and that all needs to be uploaded to our, our daily service. And so, you know, we have small setups regionally uh, in a given country that we're shooting, uh, doing this sort of on the ground first crunch. Um, and then from there, we upload, uh, you know, into our cloud service. And that really takes over. That takes care of managing and distributing and streaming to everybody. And, and again, without that, I don't know how we would have you know, 15 different uh, sets of producers in possibly 15 different countries all looking at that at the same time, all collaborating with uh, each other in real time. And so the ability to sort of take these large data sets to understand how to sort of optimize them for the cloud and then ultimately how to distribute them and, and how to distribute that at scale. And because today we might only be sending to one or two people, um, but given the success of a show or the depth of a project, tomorrow we may be sending to many hundreds of people. And so understanding how that scalability works, understanding how taking these giant data sets and making them sort of cloud friendly works, that's all hugely important. And it, it really does, you know, people that understand that and, uh, you know, those individuals who are, are not just savvy about it, but I think are creative in that space in finding new ways to distribute that. I mean, listen, we're only shooting more. The files are only getting bigger. Um, you know, the uh, the internet pipes, thankfully, are, are getting a little bit faster, but that there's certain not, you know, the size of the, you know, pipe that gets you onto the uh, internet is certainly not keeping pace with the size of files that we're shooting or the amount that we're shooting. And so people who understand how to optimize that data, how to get those enormous data sets, you know, sort of cloud friendly, I think that's hugely, hugely important.